Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're so, so welcome to be here on this little sketch with me video for today. I thought I'd just switch things up and go a bit more old school on graffiti art and just do a little bit of sketching while I have a little chin wag with you all to see what the crack is. It has been a wee while since I sat down and actually had like a little conversation with you all and I'm so excited to do that today. On the screen you'll see various little sketches that I've been doing in the background and a few pieces that you might have seen or that you might, might not have seen. So yeah, let's get started. So yeah, it's been a wee while since I actually sat down and spoken with you all. If you've seen my last little update video, you will know that I have a brand, brand new website coming out, which I am very excited for. Um, it's been a long time coming. I want to do my own website for a while. I've definitely want to step away from the Etsy because if you have an Etsy shop, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Like it has just been a very difficult journey to get sales. I'm totally, totally transparent with you all. Um, yeah, having to take on a part-time job to just to keep things taken over. And with Etsy, it is just a very oversaturated platform. And yeah, at the end, it probably just wasn't the right move, but we have to move on and these things develop and we grow from it and we learn. So yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to do my own store, which I have been creating on the side since I'm literally coming from work and doing my website and trying to do the content and trying to fit everything in in two days, which is a challenge because like you'll have seen on my, my own personal TikToks, I'll leave a link down below where you can follow me on my own personal TikTok if that's something that you're interested in. It is very much Christian content, art content and actually a little bit of writing content. I do have a lot of creative things on the go at the moment so I am a bit tired if I'm totally honest with you. <laughs> but like honestly creatively this season what God has been doing like it has been such a change like if you would have told me this time last year that God would have brought me back to even to write stuff down in like a fiction or non-fiction um, setting, I wouldn't believe you because I was definitely in that mindset of I'm just an artist, that's all I am, but God was like, nah. <laughs> there was a quote from C.S. Lewis I remember that someone shared at a gathering in church and that I'm paraphrasing here but I'll probably put up on the screen like the food quote, the proper quote because I'll probably butcher it, but like God, like you think that God is just going to make like a little house and that's it that's it really but god wants to make a palace of many wings with us as his vessels and a palace that he intends to live in himself and i think that's kind of what god has been doing in my own life personally because like i've taken on like a lot more responsibility in church with serving which has been fantastic i definitely i'm going to miss the young adult service over the summer but um yeah like this whole faith journey and art and creative wise I definitely feel that art has taken a bit of a backseat this season, which honestly, like, I'm okay with it. I'm kind of glad to maybe take a break because it was, I guess, maybe it kind of was a bit of an idol for a wee while. Maybe last year, definitely it was. Like, oh, like that's all I did was just art, 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 painting, trying to grow, trying to make a business. But honestly, like this whole, this whole page, this whole business started off as just devotion to God. And literally like all through the lockdown, like all I did was with not working and graduating and stuff like that there being in a lockdown and not being able to go anywhere was just to paint and spend time with God. Like that's this whole th <clears throat> excuse me. This is hard, this whole thing has started and I guess over the course of trying to build the sort of business side of things to, you know, make money and to do all all these different things is just it kinda of, the heart kinda of got lost a little bit. So that's just me being transparent about everything as a Christian business owner, you know. But, you know, things change and I'm kind of glad I'm doing my own website now where I've had a lot more creative control over, over how things look and new products, which I will not spoil on this channel. But do keep your eyes out. There are going to be plenty more for you to get your hands on. I'm very excited about that. And I guess with doing like the original characters, you that's probably like been my, my main content for a while. And I'm not even mad about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Like even when that TikTok went viral, oh god, it's still going. Like there's about three, like three hundred thousand people have viewed it, which is absolutely insane. Like oh, I've had to turn off the comments because, as you know, I won't repeat the thing. But I'll leave a card up here where you can um, see a few of the comments that were left. I've definitely like peed from it, thank God. But like, oh, 
Like there's just something about making characters and telling stories where you can communicate the truth of God. I have been doing like a lot of reading obviously on the side when I you know get home from work and it's the evening and I'm just chilling and I've been I read the Mark of the Lion series by Francine Rivers and I haven't read the third book yet because I'm just saving it because I have like a lot of like little wrong poems to get through and like I'm trying to get through those but then like reading this series like oh goodness gracious me like oh I won't spoil the ending but like the first book at the end I was like oh my god oh my god but then the second book was like oh my god oh my god like there's two different oh my gods there but anyway <laughs> but like just like communicating the truth of God through a story like I even remember reading another one of Francine's book Redeem and Love that book I'll probably have to read it again like on the floor crying oh goodness me but there's just something about it that I just loved and I remember starting starting to write way back when in school like if there's like a creative writing assignment in English I was all over it like I don't know what but I never really got back to it because there was like kids back then who used to write and who were a lot better than what I was and I guess it was just insecure to tap into that sort of little gift and now God has kind of brought me full circle again to do it again. So who knows, like this thing that I'm writing now, I won't spoil anything but it is to do with the characters with that are on my page at the moment with the princess and the knight, which I am, I love honestly, like I love like the style of what God's been doing and just communicate something different like you know with my, um, I guess the encouragement videos of two or better than one from Ecclesiastes and just you know, hard to be content in these circumstances when you are like single and just, you know, in a season where you don't really want to be in. And just be content with where God has you and that he uses all these things for good and to grow and we might not see it at the time, but, you know, we don't want to miss what God is teaching us in these hard seasons, even though it's hard and like you want to like, you know, crawl into a hole and like never get out, but like, you know, you can't do that. Unless you're a plant or whatever, but maybe as humans we're all house plants with complicated emotions, like that's just fine thing. Like I need a little bit of sunshine, a bit of water and I'm good to go. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a really interesting thing with writing again. Like I find it so much more, I don't want to say enjoyable with art. Like I always love, love art, but I feel quite limited in what I can do at this moment in time. Like just, you know, there's certain things that, you know, I really, I still need to grow up my art skills, I won't lie to you. But you know, with writing you can get in like a lot more detail and just you know, what the character's actually thinking and what their thoughts are. Like even with like the webtoon stuff I got there it was definitely like a bit like the best of both words with writing and drawing, but you know the art was um especially. But the story was cute. Like I look back on it and I'm like, oh that was that was adorable. Just like that was adorable. But very, very cheesy. And I definitely want to end it like there and then. <laughs> Because it was a lot of work, working full time back then, like, oh my gosh, like two years ago working as a marketer and working full time and trying to run an art business. It was, whew, it was a journey. I was definitely very, very, very tired near the end of that contract. Never again. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. Honestly. Yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. Anyway, but yeah. It's definitely been a journey being an artist and a writer. I definitely love to, you know, make things more complicated for myself and to procrastinate and to be a perfectionist and a people pleaser. But I'm trying my best to, you know, just try these things and try new things what God wants you to do. If he tells you to write down something, follow him and trust his leading. It's definitely been interesting to see what has come out of all this. Like I remember even at church again we had like a writer's evening and it was like a timed exercise that we had to do. And just what came out of that, I was very, very surprised to have it in me. Either it's definitely like the Holy Spirit leading you into these new realms of creativity or else it was just me and my hopeless romantic energy just pent up for nearly 20 year, 25 years and it all just kind of came out possibly but I think God uses these things to communicate his truth and to do it in a God glorifying way like with unlike all the other sort of more spicy books out there in the moment like I finished It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey and then I almost finished Hook and Sinker as the sequel but oh my goodness me <laughs> I had to put that book down but like whoo it was something else my goodness me anyway <laughs> but I still quite like the second book over to the first one personally but yeah, <clears throat> so yeah, it's definitely a different season. I'm looking forward to what God has. Maybe I'll finish this book. Maybe it'll be a trilogy, maybe. But it was definitely just like a word that I just could not shake. Like a princess picking up her own sword to go to battle and not waiting on the knight in shining armor. 
but to find someone else on the battlefield to do battle with in this spiritual darkness that we're in in the world today. I think there's like a lot of truth in that and I think, you know, it's not a bad thing to want a husband. It's not a bad thing to want someone to partner with in the kingdom of God. But I do feel like, you know, the church does idolise marriage and even singleness too. Sometimes like it's kind of taboo to talk about sometimes, but I feel like we have very good spaces to talk about, you know, being single and what that actually is like in this day and age when everybody around you is getting married and popping out babies like Tic Tacs, <laughs> you know, but I'm happy for them. But like, you know, it's definitely an interesting season. Like I feel like even from my, my last video on Valentine's Day, like I feel so much more content to say, well, lies, absolute frippin' lies. <laughs> but like, oh, like I do want a husband one day, but like, you know, I'm content to work on my own self and to grow this page and to grow this channel and to do other bits and bobs like writing a book or publishing or doing all these different things in the meantime maybe I can tell my kids one day like you know here like your mum wrote a, wrote a book and wrote a trilogy and has an art page and has a youtube channel yeah that'd be really nice but yeah we will soon see what comes out of all this and yeah it's definitely interesting and I'm grateful for the growth I'm grateful for the stretching of the tent and yeah. So what do you guys think about, you know, publishing books? Like, do you think that artists can be writers as well? Or vice versa? Can a writer take on another creative outlet? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed all the little sketches in this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Christian art content that blesses you and inspires you to look to God and look at the truth of his character. And yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless for today.